Probably one of the most asked questions is how to get more page views on your blog. My blog by Sophia Lee averages over a million, well, it probably averages like 750,000 page views a month. Sometimes we hit a million a month. I think our highest month was 1.6 million. Our lower months right now are 500,000. So I've really figured out how to get page views and I'm gonna show you my inside tips. So first I'm gonna start from like a technical standpoint on how to get more page views, what I found worked for me, what I found doesn't work for me. Um, and then I'll start talking about platforms and which platforms are worthy. We really have, I've been having bad luck with the lawnmower situation outside, but what platforms are worth you spending time on versus what platforms aren't worth you spending time on. And I think it's going to surprise you. First up from a technical standpoint. So if you are just randomly thinking of blog posts in your head and writing them, I would say 95% of the time that probably won't be successful. You need to focus on SEO. SEO is search engine optimization. Go research it. Google it, YouTube it. It is so important in running a blog and essentially what it does is it tells Google or the social media sites that you're on exactly what your content is about. That makes it so much easier for it to then go and show to people that are looking for that. So if I didn't focus on SEO for this video, for example, the chances that YouTube knowing that I'm trying to tell you how to get more page views on your website is like very, very unlikely. And technology has gotten a lot more advanced like where it kind of like the behind the scenes on YouTube, I don't know how they do it, but can kind of like see from what words I'm saying, what this is about. But you still need to write your post in a way where you're focusing on SEO. There is a science behind how I write my posts. I do every single thing with SEO in mind. Like literally every single thing is with SEO or to get someone on my email list, <laughs> honestly. Um, so actually my blog, my perfecting blogging goes over my SEO strategy, but Google it, YouTube it. You need to be knowing SEO to get more page views. That will instantly, like you focusing on that will instantly skyrocket your page views. Maybe not instantly, but like, you know. You just need to be doing it. Okay, the next thing, I have a little list <laughs> next to me that I wrote. The next thing that I am very passionate about is that you need to be writing every single post on your blog for the reader. Do not make it about you. I like think I always use this example or I'm actually kind of pulling one out of thin air. But for example, if I was to write a post on my skincare routine, if I title that post my skincare routine, I can guarantee you that it will get you less page views than if you were to title it, for example, the 12 best skincare products that every single girl needs. Even though it's essentially the same exact post that I'm writing, I'm writing it in a viewpoint that is not about me, it's about the reader because everyone is selfish. And you can probably start even thinking about yourself when you're looking at different things. It's about you, it's not about them. Unless it's like a celebrity or an influencer. So when I first started my blog, literally no one cared about me. People still don't care about me at all. I think I'm starting to get to the point where more and more people are interested in like my life. But that took three and a half years. I can tell you that no one cared about any, if I would have posted something on my skincare routine, no one would have cared at all in the beginning. I mean, it's not my niche either, but you know what I mean? Like make every single thing about them so that they want to click and read the post. And then that kind of has the same thing to do with that you need to focus on title. So I just gave you an idea on a title, but what I would recommend you doing is going to huge websites like Buzzfeed, for example, and studying their titles. They do have a method to their titles. If you look at them, you'll kind of figure it out. But it is so interesting how when you go to BuzzFeed, you start clicking in to a ton of different posts. And that right there is marketing on their standpoint and they do a really, really good job at it. So go to the top websites, see how they're writing titles because what they're doing is working because it's getting more and more page views. All right, now let's talk about platforms. And platforms are what you can utilize in your favor to get people to your website. 
If you've watched my videos before, you know exactly the number one platform that I'm gonna talk about. And it's like the number one platform for all bloggers, Pinterest. You have to, have to, have to get on Pinterest. Pinterest is the only social media site out there where people go to it to click on to someone's website. For my website personally, we get like 600,000 views alone from Pinterest. And from the very beginning of when I started my blog, Pinterest has been huge for just getting page views there. It's the easiest way to do it, especially in the beginning. I have a course called Perfecting Pinterest, which shows you my exact Pinterest strategy. I'm so specific with what I do from how I do my SEO on Pinterest, um, the way I design my pins, how I upload them, how I use Pinterest in my posts. There is a science behind everything that I do on the Pinterest side of things. And so make sure to check that out if you're interested. But moral of this all, get on Pinterest and post your pins or like your content on Pinterest. It will do amazing, amazing things for your blog. And when I first started, I was getting like, now I've kind of evened out where I get like 50% from Pinterest, like traffic wise, 50% from Pinterest, like 50%, I mean, obviously, okay, like we have YouTube and Instagram in there too, so it's not exactly 50-50, but majority of my traffic, it's, it's actually comical how every time I start filming, lawnmowers show up out of thin air. It's not exactly 50-50, but majority of my traffic comes from SEO and Pinterest, and so that's like a huge amount. So get on Pinterest if you haven't. Next up, Instagram. Instagram literally brings like 1% of traffic to my blog, which is like nothing. So it's actually a waste of time for me, from or like from my perspective, to use Pinterest, which is why I didn't start a Pinterest for the first three years of my blog. I just launched Pinterest, or in my, did I say Pinterest? I totally meant Instagram. I just launched Instagram last March, so I've only had it for a year. And I actually thought it would bring more traffic to my website. It really, really doesn't. What I'm on Pinterest, or Instagram, oh my God, why do I keep saying that? Why I'm on Instagram is because it forms a community, like way more of a community, um, and just like brand loyalty, really. But if you're first starting out on your blog, I would just not recommend getting on Instagram because it's not worth your ROI. You will not make money from it in the beginning. Next up, YouTube. So YouTube surprised me. I'm gonna be honest, I started Instagram and YouTube in the same exact day. So my YouTube is a year old also. And I kind of thought that Instagram would bring in a lot more traffic than YouTube. I thought that YouTube would just be like, basically making my eggs in different baskets in case something happened, but I didn't think that it would bring traffic to my blog. And it does. It's actually shocking how much traffic it does bring to my blog. But you have to be really specific with it. So if you have a YouTube and you're posting stuff out there. Someone is not going to go to your website just because, most of the time just because they're watching a YouTube video. You need to give them a reason to go to your website. So what I do is I use like free printables or in my apartment I have artwork that I am then like, okay, you can go and download this for free on my website, the link is in the description. So then they go from my YouTube channel to my website and then they get on my email list too, which is like very big in my business too. But if you're just starting out your blog, don't even worry about an email list. Just worry about, if you're first starting out on your blog, worry about your blog and about Pinterest and nothing else. Um, and then, so moral of that, YouTube has actually been surprisingly great for my traffic but you can't just expect that someone's going to go to your website you have to give them a reason something like a present basically that it's like if you go here you get this for doing it and then lastly tiktok so i can't really talk much about tiktok <laughs> i just launched the tiktok on like last week i'm probably like i'm not good at, it at all i have no strategy i'm literally just doing it to do it just to see what happens which is probably not smart but you know sometimes you just gotta do it what is incredible about tiktok is if you have something go viral which i haven't had happen yet but i like see other people you can get followers unbelievably fast like it is crazy people follow on tiktok like no one's business what is my challenge with tiktok is that 
you cannot link as of this point right now you cannot link something to your tiktok so what i mean by that is if i was to go make a tiktok and i talked about we'll go back to the skincare example i talked about the skincare that i can use it's really hard for a user on tiktok to hear me say those skincare and then to go to my blog and to buy that skincare like usually i know from just like a user perspective from my perspective if someone talks about something on tiktok that i want to then go and buy i will exit out of tiktok and i will go to google and i will search that product well that doesn't do anything for us because we want them to use our affiliate link and it also like i know if you have a business tiktok you can link your website there but that's just an extra step you know like you need to make it as easy as possible for the person whereas if on pinterest if they just you know, they're scrolling on Pinterest and they open up the image and they click on it that takes them directly to your website where like TikTok you have to watch the video then you have to go to their profile and then you have to click on the link to their web to your website and I'm assuming most of the time unless you want to change it all the time that it would be to like your main page and not a specific post so then they'd have to go to your main page and then they have to go to the blog post and find it it's just a lot of extra steps and people won't spend the time doing that so TikTok is interesting because it's incredible how fast you can grow on it, but from like a perspective of getting page views, probably not the best one. So in my opinion, and from what's happened with me, so far the order of social medias and like platforms to get more page views is Pinterest is number one, YouTube is number two, Instagram is three. TikTok's kind of unfair for me to say because I don't, I've just started it. So like I'm like a baby in it, but um, I would be surprised unless I have like a mega mega viral radio that TikTok would generate a lot of page views. So that's just kind of my insight on getting more page views. You really have to focus on SEO. SEO will do everything for your blog. It's also not a fast process. Like you, if you think you're gonna get page views like a month after you start your blog, you're out of your mind. It will probably take you six months of hard work to even get like a little bit of page views. Like I think a common thing that you'll hear over and over again on like successful bloggers is that that when they first started like they had four people on it their mom their dad their sister and like a one friend like no one is going to go to your blog at first you got to give it time you got to keep working on it focus on seo and pinterest and it'll be really really successful so like i said i have a course called perfecting blogging that goes over my seo strategy how i write my posts um how i use seo in my posts it's like that's a science and then i have my perfecting pinterest which goes over the pinterest side of things and how i run my pinterest account and get used from pinterest so that is that i hope you found that helpful make sure to subscribe this is my blogging channel i am really trying to keep things separate because my other niche is decor and honestly i want to be known for decor a lot more than i want to be known for blogging so i'm trying to like divide it up because well i do love helping people with getting their own blog started i'm very passionate about it i think blogging is like one of the best like we just have so much opportunity in it right now like the internet's still a new thing can you imagine in like 30 years where this is gonna be and if you can get in now it's just crazy so um i'm very passionate about it but <laughs> i'm more passionate about the home decor and so basically i'm dividing it up just so there's a place where blogging people can go, a place where home decor people can go. Since you're blogging, I'm assuming, subscribe to this channel. Um, I send out weekly emails too. Those emails are like insanely helpful. They really give a deep dive into what I do. So we'll have an opt-in for that below where you can like put in your email and then get on the newsletter. But that is this video and I'll see you at the next one.